Today on Tamriel Talk, I discussed the exploration video that ZeniMax Online Studios has put out, and I have a dental file stuck in my tooth. Let's get to it. Howdy folks and welcome back to another episode of Tamriel Talk. My name is Richie aka Bogotter and this show is all about the upcoming MMO, The Elder Scrolls Online. Now today is episode number 5 and we're going to be talking about exploration in Tamriel. There was a new video that was put out last week that showed off some of the details. Uh, Mr. Paul Sage, who I had the pleasure of meeting a couple times, uh, actually narrated in the video. And it showed us some uh, some cool stuff, I, I think. Um, now one of the one of the areas that they they focused on in this is the fact that when you're in the Elder Scrolls Online, you can actually open up crates and barrels and boxes that are just strewn all about the place, and you can actually take objects out of it. Fans of the Elder Scrolls series love the fact that you could just basically pick up anything in the game world. You know, um, you know they, they restrict it sometimes, but you know if you see a plate, you can pick up a plate. If you see a, a skeever tail, you can pick up a skeever tail. You know, there's flowers everywhere. You could just basically ransack. You know, buildings and uh, dungeons and you know, uh, cr you know, crates and whatever. You could just ransack these things, take them for your own, and that's just part of you know what it's like to be Elder Scrolls. And and actually, like, it stinks for a player like me because I'm I'm such a completionist and pack rat type player in any game I play. And I find the Elder Scrolls series specifically to be very frustrating in that regard because I just want to take everything. I'm like, ooh, I might need this. I might need an ostrich esophagus at some point. Um, you know, I have to take this because I never know when I might need it. And you find out very quickly that you just can't do that in these games because, <laughs> because you just get overrun with junk. But it's interesting that they're putting this into the MMO. And I actually, when I played the Elder Scrolls Online back in March... I noticed that right away. As soon as I got to the very first town, you know, Stros Mackay, as soon as I got into that zone and I started wandering around, I realized quickly, I can open up things and there there's crafting materials and there's food items and different different pieces of, of loot that you can acquire just by opening things. And that was the first very Elder Scrolls-y thing that I noticed. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not common to find that in another MMO. Like, you'll have nodes, right? Like, it'll be like a mining node or a... You know, an herb that you can pick, but it's not just random barrels and different things that you pick up that that often has, uh, you know, that, that's often found in other games. So it, it's cool to see that. Now it's not going to be as extensive as an Elder Scrolls game. I mentioned earlier you can pick up plates and all kinds of stuff. It, it's it's mostly going to be just containers that you open and you find things. So it's got that flavor, but it's not going to be as as freeing as an Elder Scrolls series. And also there's no there's not going to be um, any kind of crime system, right? If you're playing like a Skyrim or something like that, you'll go into a shop and some items when you hover over them, it'll actually say steal item and you can Steal the item if you want to, and there are consequences to doing so, or you can try to, you know, just take things that <laughs> are not considered theft. Um, so there's not going to be a crime system in the game, at least at launch. You know, there's there's rumors and speculation about whether they'll eventually put that uh, system in, So, but we don't have any details on that right now. Um, so it, it's interesting to see that they're putting that in. Now, there's a couple other tidbits of information we've gleaned from this video. Um, and one thing that's been confirmed for a while now, but you know, this, this video focused on it is that you are going to be able to read books, right? If you find a, a bookshelf in game, there are some books that you can read and there, there are story, there is bits of lore, there's history and stuff in there. Um, that's exciting for, you know, cause really the Elder Scrolls series is, is known for its deep history and the, and the rich lore that goes along with it. And you're playing a thousand years before the events of Skyrim. So it should be interesting to see what kind of books they put out and, uh, and such like that. So that's going to be in the game, uh, for all you lore hounds out there. Uh, there's also going to be fishing. I didn't know about the fishing before. I haven't seen that in game. I haven't played. You're going to be able to do some sort of fishing mini game where the different bait that you use on your fishing line will actually determine how big of a fish you can catch. Uh, we don't know much more about it like that. Is it going to be something where you, you have to throw it in the water and just wait till you see the little bobber move and then click on it real quick? Or is it going to be you know, one of those like mini games like a torchlight? I like how they did it in torchlight where there's this, the, the circle that gets bigger and smaller and when it when it 
hones in and, and changes color, you have to click it real quick. So at least that way you don't fall asleep while you're fishing. Every time I fished in World of Warcraft, I like nodded off at the keyboard. It's just something that happened. And it's like the sound effect would go and oh, and you remember to click it. Um, maybe that's just me. It's probably just me. <laughs> so uh, the other things we, we've known about sky shards for a while this is another exploration thing that you could do sky shards are basically these glowy things that are hidden throughout the world and if you collect three every every time you collect three of them you actually unlock a skill point that you can spend on unlocking skills for your character so it kind of rewards exploration some of them will be easy to find and easy to get some of them will be easy to find, but difficult to get to. It'll be like up in a mountain somewhere, or like, how, how do I get there? And some of them are just going to be plain difficult to find. Um, I think I found, in just Stros Makai alone, I think I was able to find three and unlock a skill point. I seem to remember doing that. So the ones in those starting zones are probably pretty easy to find. Um, yeah, so that, that kind of rewards exploration. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Datacrons in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Right, you have those. You know, you had those on every map that you can kind of look for, and they, and they started off really cool and fun, and then they became insanely like frustrating to get to. Like the one you have to wait for the hot air balloon to go all the way around Tatooine. It's just... yeah. So hopefully there's none that any like that because I don't want to be like I don't want to do that too often because it, you know, makes it makes me tense. Makes me a little tense. Um, so, <laughs> and then uh, lastly, they uh, they had uh, something called uh, Munda stones, right? So Munda stones were uh, basically just things you can find out in the world. They look like standing stones. You you kind of can get some sort of te temporary buff or power from them. Not a lot of information was speculated, but you know, there's guardian stones in Skyrim, so I, I assume it's going to be something similar to that. So the video is really cool. I'll put a link to it down below. It um. There's probably other things you can dissect, you know, you, you could see you could see the uh, the crafting tables and stuff like that that some of the, the and some of the animations there's there's a guy that's uh, he's look cooking something he's he's stirring something up in a pot and he, they actually have an animation for him to taste it and kind of like nod in approval. Ooh, this tastes pretty good. So that was pretty funny. Um but one of the cool things about and they mentioned this in the video, one of the cool things about being able to like just pick up things right in town from these barrels and crates is you can you can start your crafting professions, you know, especially if you're going to go down like the the chef or cooking type path. You can start that like almost right away because you just zone into the like the the first town and just start collecting a few things and and you can start your progress on on crafting. A lot of games you you know, you have to they ease you into questing first and the mechanics and stuff like that and then you'll start to find some nodes that you can actually gather some materials and start to craft. But this could be like the first thing you do might be crafting in the game. So, that's another interesting twist. There's one other thing that was really cool about the video, lock picking. All right, so lock picking in this game is going to be, it seems to be revolve around chests, right? You'll find a hidden treasure chest somewhere in the world. And uh, it's not just like having a lockpick skill and like, is your lockpicking skill good enough to open this lock? They actually have a tumbler system. A little interface opens up and you, you got the little tumblers and you're going to have to, you know, uh, figure it out and, and jiggle it. And I don't know what this, this motion is. You're probably not going to be doing this because that probably doesn't unlock any locks. Unless you're casting like a knock spell in Dungeons and Dragons. So that, that'll probably work for that. But otherwise, you're the lockpicking, yes. So uh, they said that um, the higher your lockpicking skill skill is the better the loot that you'll get out of it so i don't know if that's really you'll unlock this chest and you'll get better loot because your lock picking was better or there's just certain chests that you can't open unless your locks lock picking skill is up to snuff so uh yeah lock picking in the game is pretty pretty darn cool so it's these very little detailed things that kind of are, are starting to you know like these small little little things they've added to the game that start to get me excited about it. A little bit of separation from other MMOs because, you know, let's 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 be honest, it's not you know, there's not a ton of things they're doing differently from what I've seen in Elder Scrolls Online from other 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 things. But these little things that crop up here and there where they, they put attention to detail on uh uh, uh, like making the world seem more alive, you know, having these objects that you can collect or lock picking and stuff like that. Those are the things that are starting to get me uh, uh, more excited about the game. So I hope to, to see more information about this coming out soon. So let me know what you think. Uh, what did you think of the video? I will link it down below. Um, leave me a question or a comment in the comments field below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be notified when future videos are released. And uh, you can hit like and favorite and all that good stuff. And you can contact me on Facebook and Twitter. Google Plus and Twitch. I'll put all that information on the screen. All right, I just want to say thanks, everybody, and have a great day. 
So I really do have a dental file stuck in my tooth. I wasn't kidding about that. I had a root canal done and the instrument broke off in my tooth and I've now been to a specialist who's worked on the tooth for over an hour and couldn't get the thing out. I have to go back another time and it's been killing me all week. Um, my jaw got stuck open during the procedure so they had to manipulate that back into place so that was a lot of fun. So now I do have a temporary filling in so it's not going to be too much to see but I just wanted to kind of share this with the camera here because that's the kind of guy I am. I like to share with my viewers. So it's right back here. This one. That's the one that's killing me. That's the one that's causing me sleepless nights. Show and tell.